right <clears throat> so welcome back students to one more session of your metallurgy chapter so we've already seen the extraction of iron hope you would have understood the concept so again now i'll, then I'll be directly going into the extraction of aluminium this is how i'm going to do then i'll be doing zinc then copper then silver nickel zirconium yes so whenever we are speaking about uh, an extraction of particular metal as i said we are going to pick or we are going to extract this metal economically from an ore so whenever you're studying metallurgy of aluminium the most important thing which you have to remember is first try to mention the ores of aluminium so what are the ores of aluminium aluminium if i speak about the ores it exists in two different forms one is your bauxite and one is your gypsite so let us write the formula bauxite ore of aluminium formula is al2o3 dot uh, 2h2o that is your uh, the bauxite and when I come back and speak about gypsite it is Al2O3 dot 3H2 this is your gypsite now what are we going to do we are going to pick up this particular uh, oats and from that we are going to first separate or purify the metal after purification then we'll take it for further uh, uh, reduction and uh, refining and everything right so if this question is given to you how is alumina separated from or purified from silica in bauxite or give equation now basically whenever we speak about bauxite bauxite has two types of impurities what are the two types of impurities it has al2o3 dot 2h2o has sio2 silica as an impurity and tio2 titanium dioxide as an impurity so we uh, our task is to remove these impurities and then send it for reduction so for separation or purification of this uh, silica we are going to utilize or we are going to use two types of methods one method is called surpex process surpex method and the second method is called a process of leaching these two are <coughs> purification methods only in the exam they directly ask you what is the process of leaching so you can write this answer let us come back and see so in surface method first most important thing what are we doing we are going to pick up this uh, metal metal oxide right so first I'm going to take this metal oxide done I'm going to combine with two important reagents what are the two important reagents okay that 2 h2o is inbuilt in the inbuilt in the, inbuilt in the, in the molecule water of crystallization right so this aluminium trioxide I'm going to combine with nitrogen and then I'm going to combine with the reducing agent coke correct so this acts as a reducing agent. when all these are going to combine at 2073 Kelvin so when this combines what is the use of nitrogen just see first important product aluminium nitride comes out because I'm going to further process this and the leftover comes out as carbon monoxide done so this is your first step in the second step we are going to further because I have to convert it into uh, aluminium oxide the purest form isn't it right so this aluminium nitride I am going to further allow it to undergo hydrolysis when I allow it to undergo hydrolysis this first important this forms aluminium hydroxide this forms aluminium hydroxide I have not at balanced the reaction aluminium hydroxide and the leftover comes out as ammonia vapor so this is why we have taken nitrogen here so that comes out as gaseous byproduct and I can easily remove it now still we are not done aluminium hydroxide now what am I going to do I am going to heat this aluminium hydroxide further at now this is 2000 73 now it is 1473 Kelvin when I heat it as 1473 Kelvin this dissociates into two important compounds what it get converted into aluminium trioxide that is the basic form of that plus your water of crystallization comes out yes done so this is also over now this aluminium trioxide now is sent for reduction method this is further sent for reduction I'll be teaching reduction process also yes now let us come back to leaching basically leaching is a process where when when do we use leaching or what concept do we use uh, leaching leaching is basically used on this concept just see you have to remember ore is soluble in the particular base which we add and your ganj particles or the impurities should be 
insoluble if this is the concept i can easily dissolve the ore and separate out the gauge with this concept let us start so for a leaching process the most important thing which you require is leaching agent so what is the leaching agent which we are going to use leaching agent used here is mineral acids i can use mineral acids then i can use aqueous solution of that particular ore that particular aqueous solution i will be doing it now aqueous solution of ore so first what am i going to do i am going to pick up your uh, aluminium oxide right your bauxite ore i am going to pick, take this bauxite ore al2o3 yes i am going to fuse it with sodium hydroxide and as i said aqueous solution water yes now this whole thing combines together and forms a coordinate covalent complex how are you going to write first try to write sodium and write a square brackets now aluminium combines with this hydroxyl group so, yes this is called sodium meta aluminate sodium meta aluminate right now this is leached this compound is leached with this base aqueous base and it forms a complex now still we are not done what am i going to do now a na sodium meta aluminate let us name this as one let us name this as two i'm going to take this sodium sodium meta aluminate and i'm going to neutralize this how am i going to neutralize i'm going to add carbon dioxide to this now this becomes a neutralization reaction isn't it so when i'm trying to neutralize what is the use of carbon dioxide because your sodium comes out with this carbon dioxide as any hco3 sodium bicarbonate which can be taken washed off now the leftover is your aluminium <coughs> hydroxide okay okay if you still want to write it separately you can write like this your na addition uh, breaks up into al2o3 yes and your h2o xh2o this is plus now still we are not done what are we going to do we are going to pick this aluminium trioxide dot xh2o and i'm further going to heat what temperature at 1470 kelvin i'm going to heat this when you heat it the bonds between these two break up and i get al2o3 plus xh2o this is your aluminium trioxide which is very very pure now 99% pure aluminium trioxide but still the metal is not extracted this aluminium trioxide i'm going to take it further for refining now most important here in this particular reaction and what should we remember you i said silica is has to be removed isn't it now that silica whatever is there sio2 combines with coke coke is your reducing agent that coke when it combines it forms or just see silica comes out and carbon monoxide or silica sand is out and your carbon monoxide comes out so this is acting as a reducing agent yes so silica forms it uh, com for, uh, converts into its metallic form and carbon get, gets oxidized to carbon monoxide so this is your complete purification of bauxite ore <coughs> so please remember wherever you are writing try to write the reagents if you can write the use of this reducing agent use of this nitrogen coming out as aluminium nitride again uh, what are you writing yes uh, use of this uh, coke for converting or removing silica sand from that use of this where leaching agent where you forms a complex and use of this carbon dioxide to neutralize the reaction so finally this so this is your reaction